No worries. Yeah, not being all right. Well, I will get this recorded and I'll actually have it sent to you tonight. Uh, so if you want to go back and watch it, you can. Uh, and then obviously yeah, if you have, you. yeah, yeah. And if you have any questions too, uh, you can message me anytime after the session, weeks from now, months from now, totally up to you. Um, okay. So what got you interested in coaching? Uh, to be honest, I saw the videos on YouTube mm -hmm. and um, I've heard uh, pretty good stories with other individuals that had coaching sessions with other individuals as well. And I've noticed that they've been able to progress and I'm still stuck. <laughs> yeah. They try, they try to help me out, but they're not the coaches and they haven't been to that level. So, yeah, um, yeah. you know, uh, some of the uh, coachings that you have with the Anna sessions were very helpful and impactful towards me, which it got me out of the silver and into uh, uh, plat. Um, back nice. in the day, season eight. Yeah, it was really good. You're officially above uh, average now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I yeah. guess that, that's technically you're good at the game. You know, it might not always feel like it, but, you know, tech, I mean, by yeah, statistics. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, but I, I found myself in this season nine um, getting a little stuck. So yeah. I, I'm bouncing anywhere from like gold and uh, high so, and I'm like, oh, there's something wrong. Yeah. Here. So I'm not sure. I, I know there's been new changes. Uh, yeah. I'm getting adjusting to it. Do love it. I'm healing more because it looks like it feels like you need to heal more. But I still feel like I am having issues that I can't myself, out of lack of experience, mm. not see. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Okay, well, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. Now, obviously, keep in mind that with all the changes, that definitely puts your rank in flux, like you like you said. But also, I, I think keep in mind that everyone's placing about a solid rank below where they were last season. Right. Um, yeah. So, So, you know, you've not really, I mean, I assume you haven't played like 100 games in the last day. So that does that means you probably don't really have a fully 100% accurate of where you actually are ranking wise. So it, it feels a little bit like, oh man, am I in a silver lobby? Maybe yeah. you might not be in a silver lobby. This might be like, you know, it might actually be a low plat lobby, like unironically. So um, just enjoy where you're at and, and, and do the best that you can. And, and we'll take a look at what's going on here. Absolutely. So on a one trick, at least according to your form. Now, how long you been playing on a? How long have you been playing Overwatch? Um. Actually, I've taken it completely serious uh, just last year, the entire year. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is my first FPS game too, so I'm, I'm also surprisingly pretty decent with my... You know, for a new player, for a person coming into any type of FPS game, yes. my aim is actually pretty decent. Uh, it stays good, anywhere good. around 65, 70 average with Ana. I only play Ana because she feels so good to me, and I know she's a very hard character. Yeah. So I've noticed that if I play with her a lot, I'm able to play the other classes just a little bit better. And true, I've noticed true. that. Yeah, There's transferable so skills for sure. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm sticking with her for now. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. I mean, I love Ana. She's my second favorite character in the entire game. So I, I admire your taste. Um, in fact, Ana is the one where I sacrificed 500 SR for back in the old Overwatch 1 system. I was a uh, This was back before Roll Queue, and I played Winston, Ryan, and Zen. And I just was like, man, I just want to play flex support. I don't want to play. I want to play Zen and on. I just want to play Zen and on. Well, yeah. I dropped tank and I picked up on who I was really bad at. I dropped from <laughs> low masters at the time all the way into high plat. Um, it was more than 500 SR actually. So I was like, oh man. Um, yeah. But it was worth it. It was worth it. Climbed the GM like two seasons after that. And wow. um, just I just freaking love playing on it. She's so much fun. Like you said, the high skill and just feels like you have a lot of impact. And so, okay. Mm -hmm. So you play Overwatch around four hours per day, right? Uh, yeah, that, and then the weekends, the entire day. I'm, uh, sure. you know, I'm an older guy. I'm yeah, I got you. I'm I got you. Resting, so this is yeah, what I, I do now. I, I, I got you. I got you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, and then I assume that's mostly competitive. Yeah, it's just competitive. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Do you warm up or you just jump right in? I do. I do play a couple of. Uh, I do a little bit of uh, aim training. Now, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, the training session, and yeah. then I go into quick plays just to kind of see, get myself, you know in the mood and then i start hitting quick uh comp sure about how long does that generally progression take you on on the average day uh in comp just i guess from the warm-up to the quick play and to the finally uh -oh, getting into yeah, the warm-up takes me i don't know two three games and then i just go ahead and comp all night till 11 30 12 o'clock okay okay sounds good sounds good um i was like as long as that that warm-up progression is taking you under 30 minutes it's probably fine but it's just i, I want to make sure that you're being efficient with your time Right. The reason why that is, is even if you have a lot of time to play, you might not have a lot of time to improve. So what I mean by that is when you first get into the game, right, you have a certain amount of energy, a certain amount of focus. And think of that like currency that you can always replenish, but you only have so much of it before you can replenish. And I want to make sure that that time is being spent as efficiently as you possibly can. Um, full focus, full energy practicing sp something specific, right? Which we'll get into with the review, like my positioning or my cooldown usages and so on, and really giving it your go. Because there's a lot of people that are, 
They have like thousands. Right. I mean, exactly. Right. I'm sure you have some background with that. And you know exactly like it's not just about how much you play, but about the quality of those hours. Because we all know mm-hmm. the bronze mercy mains with 10, 12, 15, 25,000 hours. In fact, I think Treehouse Dave, or there's some guy that was very famous in Overwatch for ha- having like like the most hours in the game. Like it was unbelievable. I think he had like a thousand hours and like a multiple, like a dozen, like a dozen characters or something oh, wow. like that. And he was a silver player. Um, and to me, that's 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 it right there, right? Like you can have, you know, time matters, but again, that quality of those hours matter, like full focus. And I, and I think that like as the nights go on, as the hours drag on, we we lose that intensity that we need to improve. Um, in fact, I, I had a little Doomfist session earlier um, in the month, uh, last month, where I try to play two games a day and to see what I could do with two games a day. Now, I, I have a knowledge base, right? But I never played Doomfist, so I was really bad mechanically. And I actually improved like dramatically. I improved like a whole yeah, rank and a half. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, you know, it was like, it was like freaking all the way down in like high gold lobbies. Actually, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I should be better than this with my, with the knowledge I have. And I ended up getting it to diamond like within like a week and a half with only like eight or nine hours. Um, which I think that that's not perfectly replicable for everybody that doesn't have the knowledge set that I do. But I do think that to an extent that is possible if you're intense enough with your practice. And that's the key thing. Does that make sense? Okay. It does make a lot of sense. Um, and then taking backing off of that, do you take breaks or rests during that session? I during do, those yeah. sessions, after about like, three, after about two to three games, I take a nice fifteen or thirty minute you know, nice, break and nice, relax, nice, and then I nice. recount what it is that I did. With the, yeah, or what good, done better. Good, 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 good. I, I've even been doing it recently in my own games. I was doing it in stream even uh, yesterday, where I, I take a break between every game, just thirty seconds. I'll walk around the room while I'm in queue. Um, yeah. which is kind of like, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of goofy if you're a streamer cause you're like, I gotta sit there and talk to people, but I'm like, I'm trying to set a good example, you know, because I, I legitimately, like, I really do think it, it matters. I think it matters even just like the 30 seconds of just standing up. Just, it feels like I do that with my coaching sessions. You know, I finished the previous coaching session. I went up, I walked around for one minute, just walked around my stupid living room for one minute before we sat down and called you, you know, just cause like, I want to give myself the capability to just like mentally reset even just a tiny bit just so that I can go yeah. back in. It resets focus. It really does. It really does. So, and the, the reason why I put such emphasis on stuff like that is because is that going to be the difference between you and like Diamond? Maybe, maybe not. But Absolutely. it's, but, but, it, well, right. It might be over a thousand games, right? Like imagine a thousand games with 30 seconds more focus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And how many of those games are going to be won just with that tiny bit of percentage? Because it, it, it in fact, in free games. So I'd recommend that. I'd recommend that if you can. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Any questions so far? No, no, no. Thank you for you know reminding me. You know that it is important to take a little bit of break and yeah, you know, yeah. keep that focus when going into the games, not just going autopilot. Yeah, exactly. I did, you know, I got caught with that wall before, and I know. Yeah, it. yeah, exactly. Well, well, the thing is, is like the amount of hours that you're playing right now, um, it's just not possible to keep focus for all those hours, right? right. So I, I think like you what what you might even want to do is is something that I do uh, is like segment your hours. So have like the first two hours, like let's say 5.30 to 7.30, 5.30 to 8, somewhere around that, that'd be like your sweat. You know what I'm saying? And then you're like, you're chilling and you're having a good time after that. Quick play, off roll, play Junkrat, one trick, you know, make people scream and maul at you, you know? <laughs> play yeah, some yeah. Roadhog, you know? Like like seriously, like, um, or if, if you want to play more on it, just go into it and be like, you know, I'm not going to be like fully tryharding. I'm not really practicing. Basically, it's about being like super intense or not really intense at all. You don't want to be like halfway. Yeah. Halfway is just okay. mediocrity, right? That would be my recommendation. Um, let me actually take some of these notes here. So uh, full intensity focus with the first one or two hours of practice. Um, and then trying to keep warm up under 30 minutes. Do not spend. Uh, too much focus, too much energy. Taking 30 to 62 minute breaks between every game, if possible. Getting up, moving, doing something boring is awesome. Um, <laughs> and then having a goal. Uh, I wish I had my punching bag. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Every game, well, every practice. Um, I, 
think that's oh 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 yeah and then segment your time after the first two hours of try hard just chill quick play off roll don't worry about performance at all that's my recommendation make sense yes sir okay so we'll keep going here so Long-term Grandmaster, short-term Diamond. In terms of playtime, you have more than enough playtime to get to Grandmaster. More than enough. Ooh, um, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I think also, like, you know, people your age and my age, um, there's, like, these myths of, like, you know, oh, we're, we're too old to hit Grandmaster. Like, our reaction speed is right. too bad. Our mechanics are too bad. Um, I have, I've, I, that there's just no science backing on that whatsoever. Um, the only thing that we know is that reaction speed does start to slow down around my age. It's, like, about 30, you know? But it's by right. such a minuscule amount that it doesn't really actually matter all that much. What matters is your motivation and how much you enjoy applying yourself with that full intensity and how much time that you have. And for you, you know, you're chilling right now, so you have a little bit more time than than, than some folks do. But but also like, do how how motivated are you to like sweat and try hard for two hours, you know, every single day of your training day? And some people like that, some people okay. don't. Yeah. Right. So I, I think that there's no there's no reaction speed unless you have some sort of physical limitation. There's nothing that's like it's very very possible to get to a high rank. Um, but yeah. Okay. Let's keep going here. What do you feel Sony back from improving? Influx of how to play nothing seems to work so much other than some of the Ana videos I've seen from you. Hence why I'm here. Okay. Um, now this is the this is the juicy one. Okay. Because the first thing I noticed here when we were talking about your form here. Um, your sleep is definitely on the lower end. Now, I know that that's something that, you know, you can get into the habit of like, this is how much sleep I need. I don't need more than that. Um, I, I understand that, but I, I just got to be that guy. Um, okay. People will grow, your body will grow accustomed to the amount of sleep that you give it. The amount, like if you, if you, I knew guys um, I worked with back in jujitsu that used to sleep only three hours a day. Um, and they claimed up and down that they were like, they didn't need to sleep any longer. Um, however, in my experience, those people generally operated at slightly lower performance intensity. They just didn't operate at the highest levels. Their body had grown accustomed to operating at that level. And so they were basically like running, it's like running your computer on power saver. That's the mm -hmm. best analogy that I can give you is that, no, yeah, you can one. function, you, you, you will function and you might not even feel tired. Um, but I do feel that like, and I, it's also not, it's a myth as well that that older people, like you are in my age, don't need as much sleep. Um, eight hours from what we know scientifically, I've spent a lot of hours spending this, it's still important. Um, so here's what I would say. I think it's also hubris to try and pretend that you're gonna be hitting eight or nine hours anytime soon, right? Um, <laughs> what I would say is ask yourself is like, how realistic is six and a half? And is that a habit that I could get into? Like that I could get into, if that makes any sense. Um, cause if you could do that, like 30 minutes of sleep is not nothing. That's nothing to sneeze at. Right. right. And that again, times the, you know, a thousand days or however long that's going to add up. All right. That's going to add up and that's going to give you some of that edge over a long period of time that you just might need. Um, I'll take that into consideration for real. Okay. I've actually perfect. I've been working on my sleep lately too. <laughs> Lovely. Well, you hit it right on the point. <laughs> well, good. To, well, good timing. Well, good timing. I, I think it's yeah. just any any small habit that you can just multiply times you know however many years that you apply it. I think I think it adds up. But yeah, um, that's all I really have in your form. Do you have any other questions? Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Let's uh, let's jump in. You have a code here or yeah. codes. Which Too one awesome. do you want to start with? Anyone is fine. <laughs> all right, we'll just start with the first one here. I think one of them. I just got wrecked just over here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens. I mean, it's part of the nature of a team game. Is like there's no guarantee that things are always going to be smooth sailing. Somebody can have a bad game and then just just goes off the, uh, the goop here. I assume this is you. Yeah. Like the honest scan. It's a good one. Gamer, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, no, this is what I wanted. I did not want that. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look here. So, make sure I'm, this is all good here. All right. A little late to the fight, no big deal. <laughs> this is awkward. Not exactly the yeah. role I'm sure you were expecting from your team. That's fine. Nice nade. So, let me kind of give you the brief rundown. Now, you probably know about 90% of this, but this is what I'm going to be looking for, all right? I am going to be looking for anti-nades put when the fight starts. I want to see an anti-nade out, and I want to see it out 
uh, as soon as you see an opportunity, once the fight starts. It's the highest percentage of value that you have, and it's done immediately. Just do it. No wasting okay. time. I want to see a good position with cover that doesn't just allow you to heal your team. I want you shooting people as well. You talked earlier about how like that DPS passive makes it feel like you're constantly snowballing, always having to heal. There's nothing like a little bit of prevention for the cure. True. And in a situation like this, an angle like this, one shot on a Genji, one shot on a Kiriko, one shot on a Ramacha, anything like that can be a little bit of that prevention that'll prevent them from doing as much damage. Very important. So not just cover. You. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, um, last thing, just to complete the kit, is I, wanna, I, I want you to be asking yourself, do I need sleep dart to preserve my life or to duel somebody? And if the answer is no, I want you to use it once the fight started. Um, hmm. So, based off of that, you hit the nade. You've taken a position here. But this doesn't check all the boxes. Which boxes does right. it not check? I'm definitely a little too safe and I don't see the enemy team. So I that, can poke that, at least. That's it, exactly. Game. That's it, exactly. You're basically operating at half capacity here. And I think that you just have enough time here if you hustle to jump down and rotate quickly to where your ash is with cover, with distance, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to get too close where you can shoot. Now, based off of what, let's say that you had rotated out of spawn and, and you know, weren't scratching your nose or whatever, <laughs> and you'd been here, <laughs> right? Would you save your sleep dart or would you use your sleep dart with what you see right now? Oh, I'd use it. Yeah, most Why? definitely. Well, nobody's pressuring me. I'm in the back line. They don't have a actual, uh, like a dive type of individual. The only person I probably worry about is Genji. All right, but where uh, is Genji? You see it? I mean, he's all the way in the back. Right. That's all the information you need, right? So, absolutely. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Good rotation. It's a little late, but better late than never. One other thing to keep in mind as well is that your fire rate while you're scoped is lower than your unscoped. Right. Yeah. You yeah, look yeah. at this here. And the reason why it's lower is for balancing purposes. Because if it was faster, there'd be no reason to ever use your unscope. You just go to it. Yeah. So huh. scope is good. Scope is good at long range. Medium to long range, great. Really, really powerful. Turns changes your shots into a hit scan. It's brilliant, right? But you fire slower. This needs to be unscoped. The other reason why it needs to be unscoped as well is what's happening to, on your screen to your left. Well, the Genji's on the left. Right. But do you see how you're yeah. look at your field very of view low as well? Yeah. Right. You see how you're yeah. limited with what you can see? Very low. Yeah. Very. Right. In addition to that, mm. you move slower while you're scoped. Yes. So that you're also easier to shoot. So if this Ryan drops shield, you're going to be more likely to take damage if you're scoped in. So just what I would say here is when somebody's close, even if you miss your shots because you're bad at unscoped accuracy, I mm. don't care. Unscope, okay. get good. If you lose games and your team flames you, doesn't matter. You will get it. This you this is where you practice, right? Yeah. Right now. So trust yourself to hit the shots, even if you miss them. Trust yourself. Okay. Same thing here, right? Trust yourself. Okay. And then as soon as you get the opportunity to, you see what just came available in the bottom right? You see it? Yep. Use yep. it right now. Because I get it. Like, this, ah, disaster. So you look at this here, and you're like, oh, you know, I was healing and healing and healing and healing and healing. healing. I want you to try to do your best to avoid having to nade yourself. Even if your team is kind of low, I don't care. Use the nade okay. offensively. Okay. I, I think there's definitely exceptions to that rule, right? But I want you to try your absolute best to not have to nade your team. Okay. Because it's one of those situations where like you can heal and you can heal and you can heal and you can heal. But if you don't get that burst of pressure out, it's just it's just so much worse. It's and Nade Right. And Nade is generally it because it only does um sixty healing now, even with the amp heal effect, it's just generally more powerful used on enemies. Right. Can make or break a fight. Mm-hmm. Now damage and healing is a is a tricky one, right? Because you're like, oh I do seventy five, I think seventy or seventy five I think it's seventy damage 70. and yeah. I think it's 75 healing as well. So technically your healing is slightly more effective. So there's always like that brain game of like, which is going to be the most effective, right? Yeah. But with Nade, it's almost always offensive. Almost always offensive. What's the problem with that Nade? Yeah, I didn't take my time. I just you, chucked it in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because if you look at this here, maybe you don't Nade at all, right? Why? Uh, only one person is available, not everybody. Well, here's a question. Could you even hit that target? 
Yeah, probably not. No. Right? There's not even a ground to splash it off of. You'd have right. to literally hit. You'd have to literally hit him with like a softball, just right, right in the noggin, right? And that that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty tricky. So mm. you know, you need to try and set it up right now, like walk forward and try and set it up. But yeah, like you said, you, you rushed it. Sleep him, sleep him right now. You hear it, right? Uh, yeah. Almost. Well, missed that attempt. That, that that's okay. I mean, that's all right. You had the right idea. But do you see how this was an, an opportunity to name? Didn't take the opportunity, or you rush the opportunity, lose the fight. Yeah. Then opportunity to sleep dart, you rush the sleep dart, lose the fight. Noticing a pattern here, right? Mm -hmm. You're either not taking the opportunities at all, or you're rushing, rushing. them. We're rushing them, right? And that's calm something down, that's something you can absolutely practice. Well, it's not even like a calm down thing. It's definitely like a, everyone gets, it's, there's definitely a little bit of emotion in there, like a little bit of intensity, but it's mm -hmm. something you can practice. It could be like, every time I walk into a fight, I want to take a deep breath, think about my nade, execute. Slow it down just a little bit. Slow it down, but, be, but def definitely look at it. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Nice. 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 That's massive. She's out of the fight. Great nano mm -hmm. here. Good shots. Good positioning as well. Notice the range that you're playing at, right? Yeah. And the cover you had. Now, what should you be looking for now? You know the answer, right? Rotating. Rotating. And? Yeah, taking a nice little off angle and getting ready for my next nade. That's it. Total accident that even hit. Because <laughs> I didn't know he was coming in. I was trying to get you the know? other person. Right, yeah. right. So like there's almost so much urgency to get the nade out that you don't even think about it. You don't even yeah. like you need you need to here's what you need to do. You need to go up there and you need to be like Steph Curry at the three point line with the nades. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. Because if you even if you miss the nade, you learn something from that missed nade. Oh, you know, I aimed a little low or I aimed a little high. What did you learn from this nade? You're not even looking at the result. That's right? true. Right, you need to take your time. The mechanics don't come through repetition. Again, we comes kind of what we talked about earlier. Mechanics come through with deliberate repetition, right? And if you just close your eyes and throw the basketball at the hoop, then you're not going to improve your aim. You just slow it down. Okay. You need to save sleep dart. Uh, no, I have nope. it. I could use it now. You should use it right now, right? Because what what is what is the value of sleep dart? That's the question. What, if you stop them from doing any ability, that quick little second it allows that's right. a lot of pressure to be there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. You sleep this Ramacha right here. You save that. You prevent this Ramacha from doing about 200, 250 damage, and you make him take extra damage as well. Use it. Okay. I mean, well, that, that well, you know what? But good and no bad. Good and bad. Okay. Like you flicked because you saw he was moving to the left. You just over flicked, and you could look at that and be like, ah, yeah, I, I just freaked. I needed to relax. Mm -hmm. right? That's exactly what ran through my mind, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's okay. That's, that's all right. I, like, you're checking the boxes sometimes with like, the decisions, but even when you're making the good decisions, they're bad decisions. They, they're bad results, excuse me, because yeah. you're rushing it. Yeah. Nate, Nate, don't sit here and heal you. Get, get that Nate out there. Find that Nate target. That could be Ramatra, that could be Mercy. Rushed, right? You had the right idea, yep. just rushed again. And I think again, it's important to be like, do I need to spend more time in, in, in the, you know, in Vaxta or more time in that deathmatch to practice that? Maybe, or maybe you just need to play some more, play your ranked games with a little bit more deliberation, you know, yeah. and slow things down because you just missed That's another it. nade, you just missed another one. How on earth? Wow. That one felt a little bit more deliberate. Look at your look at you can almost see it in your um. Your your the way that like you're the moving. Time I take, yeah. Yeah, it seems like okay. Let's see here, right there, bam. Oh, almost got. And you saw how close that was too, right? Mm -hmm. If you miss a sleep like that, I I'm totally fine with that. I'll live with that. Okay. I'll live with that. Now, what do you so, think about your positioning here? Oh, it's bad. I need to rotate over to the left or to the right. But I mm -hmm. go. I think I go over to the left only because I want to see my folks. I'm definitely behind that. That statue fountain thing there He's, and then yeah i don't see the enemy at all right that's that's the key thing here i don't think it's a terrible position i just don't think there's enough off oppor uh, offensive opportunity you know mm -hmm. um you've got good cover usage here but there's there's going to be mostly healing here and i think this is going to provide you a little bit with a few more options right you notice that it's still staying scoped in a lot right yeah. i think at that range maybe it's okay but Man, it's a Winston, you know, like 
-hmm. You know, maybe you don't maybe you don't need to, you know? He jumps too much. Who are you nading right now? I wanted to nade the entire group, but that doesn't look like it's gonna be. <laughs> I I yeah, yeah. Here's oh what I want God, here, Here's what I want you to I want you to ask yourself who am I needing every time you use this ability. I don't okay. care if it's a big clump. I want you to pick somebody work. right here and be like, who am I needing? I don't care if it's Ram or Bash. Pick somebody, take a quarter of a second and, and hit it. Okay. Because again, the timing of the nade is fine. Like I respect it. But man, oh man, if you just taken a second of look, you'd been, oh, Ram Shield, don't use it. Oh my god. Right? Who are you sleeping? I don't know yeah. why that happened. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it, 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 again, it's like the, ti it. the timing of when you're using it is great. You know, you needed it to go for it, but you're doing yourself no favors. Your mechanics, let me put it this way. Your mechanics are not this bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your mechanics are not that bad. Um, you're making them look bad because you're rushing. But I know that your mechanics are better than this. That was a sleep dart where you actually took a little bit of time. And guess what? It hit. Mm -hmm. Um, the nano is obviously like a little bit of a something else. I don't mind it as much because you thought because you know maybe this yeah. fight is still winnable, right? I I, I I wouldn't worry too much about the nano. Okay. This I fight tend was to do that for supports only if I have to because you know they're another support. They right, right. The fight, yeah. As long as the fight is winnable, I look at the kill feed here, and I'm like, okay, Kiriko's dead, Winston's dead, Soldier's dead. Wait, their Genji's dead. Wait, the Ramatra's dead. Oh no, they got the res. Oh, oh no, my Genji death. It's a 3v2. Can you win that with an Ana Lucio? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You know, maybe my guys get back. I, to be honest with you, it's good enough. Good enough. Okay. It's like, he, honestly, there, like, you're, if your Lucio had played that a little bit better, he might have been able to stall a little bit longer and then disengage. And then all of a sudden, you kind of, like, look, the point's still alive here. You see that? Mm -hmm. You know, that Nano might have stalled, might stall you guys to 99. Who are you nading? I wanted to. Who are you sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But by the way, let's just point out the fact that if you'd actually hit your nade in your sleep dart and a, you know properly played around the Bastion ultimate, this fight might have been won with your Nano Lucio. Well, I'm saying it's good. The Nano Lucio actually like it actually almost worked. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Any questions so far? Um, no, I'm just, I'm glad you noticed what I'm doing wrong, especially with my timing. I have felt yeah. that, just never really realized how much of an impact a couple of seconds would take just to make sure mm -hmm. I deliberately aim those mm -hmm. things, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not gonna say it, but your mechanics are not that bad. <laughs> All right. Lose, it's fine. Let's move on to the next one. Now, obviously, it's only one map, but yeah. you should look at this and go, wow, my path to improvement, at least in the short term, is really not that complicated. It's not going to be easy to fix. It's yeah. not going to be easy to fix. It's going to take a lot, of, a lot of practice, right? But fixing nades like that and fixing your sleep darts and then little things like your unscope right, versus scope. Pretty much it, right? And I think that your general positioning could be a little bit better in terms of your offensive sight lines. But I look at this here, and I don't. I think this is good positioning right here. I don't know what you think. But this looks good to me. Good cover, good sight line for both offense and defense. Brilliant, right? Okay. Really, really nicely well done. So that means that you must be doing something else, at least in this game, that's so disproportionately bad, it's costing you a lot of games. And we've seen that, haven't we? It really so, is, yeah. yeah. It really is, right? It's it's really really bad, and that's and that's a good problem to have. Again, the sleep dart here, like yeah, because I'm aware, right? Because it means that it streamlines your focus. Yeah. Most people are complicated. You're not. You're very simple. You have simple issues. You have simple strengths and simple weaknesses. Um, yeah. Good reset here. Maybe we can get back in here and, and get it. <clears throat> now it's only one one game. We'll have time to look at the second one as well. But uh, yeah. See a better angle for offensive pressure here. That's this is a good angle, but again, who on earth are you nading? Uh, that I meant to heal everybody. They were all low. That's I tend true. to do that too sometimes. Just to okay. Make sure, I keep them sure, right sure, sure, sure. But we kind of talked about that earlier. I want you to avoid that at all costs. Yeah, you're right. If, if, you. if you can, if you can, if you can. I know that these guys are low-ish, but I the nade on this bastion. If you could just peek this here, if you saw this, which you know you can, right? They peek yeah. that there. 
that nade on the Genji or Mercy or Bastion will completely take out this flank. They will hide, and then you won't have to worry about these guys being critical yeah. anymore. It'll give me time to heal them up with my regular shots. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You're going to yeah. notice that a lot. The offensive nades uh, take heat. They take pressure off of you. They don't put more pressure on your team. All right, let's... Nice nano. I don't know who you meant to nano there, but it doesn't matter. They're all good nano targets. Did you mean Soldier or D.Va? Uh, I think... I, honestly, I don't remember. Well, I, I, listen, I don't care. They're engaged. <laughs> as long as you're nanoing engaged people, like people that are actually like close, mm -hmm. like e any three of these targets would be good. Um, yeah, good job. Again, fish for that sleep dart. But don't just... don't just When I say fish... Think about yeah. it this way. Do, do you throw your line in your backyard? No, you, you find no. a pond. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you're going to fish, have, a, have have an idea of where you're fishing, you know? Yeah. And here it's like you're just throwing it down main. And right here, there's I a nade option. There it is. Oh, the nade. Mm -hmm. It gets body blocked, but you didn't even try to pull it around your teammates. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let the whole lazy nade, rush nade, just kind of throwing it. And we're, gonna let, we're not going to talk about that anymore. We're going to make a note of it in your channel after this yeah. fight here. You know, actually, let's just finish this review out. Let's finish this 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 code out. We'll make a note of it, and then we won't bring it up anymore. That way we can focus on some new stuff. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> there's, a, there's a beating a dead horse, and then there's whatever we're doing, which is I think, significantly worse. What do you think about your positioning here? Well, I'm definitely not looking at the enemy. I'm so behind mm -hmm. playing it safe. Yeah, and I'm just where could you where could sure you adjust? Where would you adjust? That where you're at, or I can <laughs> forward to the right hand side. Yeah, the way. Yeah, you can't see any of right now, but you'll see them quickly, right? You could also yeah, rotate yeah. to here or oh, here. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Th there's there's options. I don't. Again, I don't hate this position. I think it's all right. It, when they walk in a point, you will be able to shoot them. I just think it's like a, a small adjustment, you know, just maybe a small adjustment here, mm -hmm. or at least you can land an anti nade. You know, the, the, again, we talked about the anti nade is the big one, right? Nice shot in the Genji. Because, you know, this fight is going to be well-developed and then, um, you know, no comment on either of those CDs. I missed them both, yeah. You, you almost got them, by the way. You almost got yeah. them. Um, also, it's okay. You're not the only one that played badly this fight. Check this out. <laughs> I did not so, notice that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It happens. It happens. Okay, so let's let's take some notes here and then we will go back um, and add to these notes after the next code. So what are you seeing so far? What are some actionable, simple stuff to work on right away? Oh yeah, better rotations, and take my time. Better CDs. rotations for what? What do you need? What were what was wrong with your position? It was too safe. Um, I could use it to provide pressure, poke, do some damage while being in line of scope to heal my teammates. Mm -hmm. Triangulate in a position where I can see both fights or mm -hmm. both teams. Yeah. How does that point look to you? I just dropped one in your Discord there. Ah, oh, let me see here. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, very, very specific, right? I, I think that you did a good job keeping your distance, not getting too close. You did a good job with your cover. You did a good job with your sightlines onto your team. It was the sightlines onto the enemy team that were not so good. That's okay. the key thing. Um, and then work on not uh, relaxing with your CDs and having a target before you pull the trigger. Slow it down, but prioritize using them. Find that balance. Does that make sense there? Yes, sir. Okay. So it's like, you know, you don't want to save the CDs. You need, you know, when you get an opportunity to use the value, get the value. But don't take that as such an urgent priority that you're freaking out and just throwing it at random people. Because like that, that's, that's, you know, you end up being counterintuitive. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going here. So, um, so let's keep going here. Any questions so far? Mm. No, no, I, I honestly can't think of much. I'm, I'm just focused on what you're saying at the moment. Perfect, perfect. Do you notice that it feels pretty simple? Yes, absolutely. Because yeah. it, it really is. I'm not, Something it's not obtainable. Like, I can definitely feel obtaining a better... Right, right. Yeah, almost uh, to where the point where you're like, oh, if I was there now, I would I would have I would have done yes. I would have, you know? You know, and, yeah, and it's, it's it's really it, it is simple. It is simple. It's not it's not easy to do it because you notice that like the challenge here is not necessarily having some big brain strategical mind to figure out each situation. The challenge is being able to continually force yourself to relax, relax, focus, relax, focus, relax, and focus, and so on. Um, 
And that takes energy. That takes focus. And that kind of goes back to the very first conversation that we had is like, do you have the energy and focus to maybe not every fight, but as many fights as you can remind yourself, Hey, slow down, relax, slow down, relax. You know, if you can do that, then you're going to build that muscle memory and that autopilot that relaxes and without even, you won't even have to, right. It just does it for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. I like your name, by the way. Uh, one of my my favorite tanks I used to coach back in the day was named a Korean tank named Dreamer, and he was he was a great player. Oh wow! I used to tank back in the day too. Really, that's Ryan funny. Hart was my favorite. Yeah, he was uh, he was a main tank. He played a lot of Ryan and Winston. So. Remember, we're not going to talk about the CDs anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep, Dart. We'll take it. This thing is pretty good here. Pretty nice. You got obviously a sight line and you can still heal and be as impactful as you like. Nice. Little too, little, little too out of the oh, open there. I wouldn't mind you just to, if you're going to go for something like that, just kind of hang around the car, you know? Yeah. That way you don't get poked out too much. But yeah. Uh, the idea of what you did is great. Okay. Yeah. I think about those higher um, ranks, I would have been punished for doing that easily maybe maybe you'll still see higher ranked players doing that it's just more of the details of like you still push up for the nade but you don't mm -hmm. quite push up over the up and over the car you know right overexpose myself the the and the proactivity is still good you know i, I don't even hate that nade because you actually knew who you were nading you know mm -hmm. yeah. like yeah and you actually it actually would have hit him if he had not quickly rolled away um so you know what i, I will take that nade Nice. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Man, we're popping off here. You guys are doing a good job of keeping pressure there. Now that nano is going to give me nightmares. <laughs> it was like me trying to save him. Again, it's a bad habit that I'm using with my yeah. name. If I see somebody dying, especially yeah. one of the key targets. Kill, kill, to use it. kill feed dictates your Kill feed and timing dictates nano usage okay kill feed and timing kill feed and timing. if the yeah, fight is winnable or losable think about it that way if a okay. fight is competitive use nano that means that oh no we, we we could win this or no we could lose this it could go either way use nano to win it okay. think about that lucio one right that was an actually a winnable fight like you, you you almost won it and you actually did stall it for a long time with that nano lucio if that lucio had been full hp i probably still wouldn't nano <laughs> Still, <laughs> why? Because guess what? We need it. We need that advantage yeah. right now. We need that damage. We need that damage reduction, right? The problem with this man was even if he had died, you guys still would have been fine. Why? Because everybody was dead. Everybody's dead. He's got time to come back. Don't worry about it. Um, and then if this had been the opposite, where it had been just you and Ryan versus the entire enemy team, that would have been a terrible nano. Why? Because, well, it's over. It's just it's not, us, yeah. It's not coming back. So the kill feed is the most important thing. You know, what's going on in the kill feed and or is there a fight actually happening? If so, up and out. Too much scope then. Mm -hmm. just, we're definitely yeah. we're definitely gonna put that one on the list of things to do. And I think mm -hmm. also that the nading your teammates when you see them um a little low is, is something you're gonna wanna avoid too. Okay. They caught you with that dragon. Now this would be where we want a nano. Yeah. Oh. It's very low HP. That's all right. Okay, so we'll keep going here. Oh goodness, bug is annoying. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Where is your best position for offensive pressure and being able to heal your team? Actually, I normally go, I take the little uh, lift on the very oh, okay. backhand side. No, yep. uh, not that one, the second one. Yep. Yeah, I go up top on this one. Yeah, and I get all of them. That's my 90% of the time I'm doing that. Okay, felt like you didn't have time here, right? Yeah, no, I have plenty of time. What's the best option if you can't get that? What do you think about where you're at right now? That would have been great, or on top of that building. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Nice name. Get him. Be brave. See, this This is where I think yeah, see. you need a little bit more mm -hmm. proactivity. You have your CDs. He can't two-tap you anymore, Junkrat. 
Um, I don't know if you knew that now, but he can't yeah. actually, he can't one shot you. 250 um, HP. Yeah, yeah, and his damage did not get buffed. So, um, you know, it's still, I mean, you hit the nade, but maybe worth looking, taking a look out there. Good nano, like really good nano, actually. Why did you nano? Well, I mean, it was just him by himself, and then I saw the other three individuals. Well, I knew that everybody was spawning on that point. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go ahead and do it. Yeah. As long as you know a fight's happening, it's all right. Okay. I want you to rotate to that sight line. I want, I want that lift. I want that lift. I want it now. Yeah. Like, I think it's it's one of those things that like you're going to have to find the balance between. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take seven years to rotate to a good position versus right. I don't want to. I want to. I have five seconds. I can do a lot in five seconds. You I know what I'm saying? I actively position myself to see both teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clear shot for both. Okay. Oh, that's it, a great challenge. This is not a terrible spot, right? It's just one of those questions you're where it's safe. like. Would I have time to be able to get that rotation to up here? Um, you know, right. if not, okay, where, where could I go over here? You know, what about this rotation here? What do you think about this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know it's what I'm good saying? too, because I have safety. I can always go back. Mm -hmm. so My trouble about. with her for a long time was her movement speed, right? It didn't, I had to mm -hmm. rethink. I spent too much time thinking, should I go? Should I do it? Should I go? Should I do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paralysis by analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's keep going here. Obviously here. Where's your sight lines? Yeah. You know? Too safe, yeah. You have cover. Okay. Yeah, definitely need to rotate more. That's one of those nades where it's probably okay. Use that defensively. I did it, yeah. Whenever I see a graph, I throw it in there. It gives me an extra chance to give extra heals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I make, I let them, you know, they survive. Sure. This nano, a little more suspicious. Why? Hmm. Is this fight winnable? Actually, no, because there's nobody around the Reinhardt, and it's just him by himself against that's, the four or five that, that, that just said it, yeah. That's the thing. There's only four members ah. of the enemy team. You guys did get a kill here, mm -hmm. but that Junkrat's not here. Ryan is, and the key thing that you said there is so important. Remember when we said, what were the two things? Kill feed, timing. Yeah. This Ryan is not engaged, so this Reinhardt will have to use his pin if he even has it, which he doesn't, or he oh, does, he was yeah. trapped, to actually get to where he can actually do something. Yeah. Right, uh, I killed him. <laughs> right, you killed him. Now, oh would, would, God, would, he, would, he, would he have died either way? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, you guys were probably cooked either way. But at least you would go into the next fight where in the next engage you would have had that nano boost. And that's that's just that's sound true. familiar, right? That's what Absolutely. happened on first point, too. Um, ask yourself, are we, are we, is this fight winnable? Is this, and are we fighting right now? The answer is yes. Yeah. Use it. Ching is good here. Good offensive value. Good defensive value here. Should be using your sleep dart here, hundred percent, right? Yeah. Ooh, big nade and a big sleep dart too, or a big sleep dart. What am I saying? Big beat and big, big nade. I mean, that was that. This was some sniper on a play, but it was some good sniper on a play right there. That nade was monstrous, fight winning nade right there. Hold on. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> <laughs> You're Ryan. So you gotta emote. Wait, 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 we gotta, we gotta. <laughs> he's, wait, he's, 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 he's excited. He's excited. Let's see. Let's see how he does here. Oh, look Ooh. at that. Look at Ooh. that. It popped up. Yeah, look at that. He's feeling pretty good about himself. Yeah, then, yeah, that's right. No. He's, got, he's, got a, he's talk your talk, man. I, I got yeah. you. That's great. All right. He does not mm. wear that Paragon mm. skin for nothing. That's right. Hey, check this out. This is pretty saucy position for me. I like this. This is hey. good. You see those sight lines that you got, and you still got yeah. cover. Feels like you're managing your range really well, not worried about Grav or Riptire or Bastion or anything. Love it. I don't. Again, I don't even mind that nade as much. I feel like it's a little late, but like, mm. you know, your whole idea of like, I think he's going to peek that there. Yeah, at least you're thinking. You know, it feels like your brain's like actively engaged with like, this right. nade is going to go there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not for that. Look at that. Sniper on it. Let's go. Drop him a couple of heals. My team is safe. I was safe. Yeah. 
Good, Nano. I think here you could have even stayed in this angle here, honestly. I, yeah. I think you might have been able to stay. Now, you rotated yeah. away, I assume, because you heard something over I got, here. I, yeah, exactly. I got a little right. afraid of those footsteps right. on the right hand right. side. Right, right, right. But you still got your sleep dart here, and you still have cover here. I think I think, I think, I think you could play with it here, because I'm actually more concerned about this, right, where you jump into the open. You see that? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, something could right. definitely happen there. Definitely, there's, there's an opportunity for all sorts of bad stuff here, you know? Mm -hmm. um, if she had grav here, she's going to snipe you right there. I mean, I'm about um, to sit on one of those uh, junk rats. Right. Bombs. You're right. That that too. That too. This isn't too bad because you do quickly move back to cover. To your right. Um. But yeah. And also, for crying out loud, gotta love the nano here. Like, is this fight winnable? Obviously. Oh yeah. Is this is this a good time for the nano? Yeah. yeah. Looks good to me. Even if he doesn't get a single kill, this is gonna cause so much disruption and distraction that I think somebody on your team is we'll gonna hold get. payload for sure. I'm like, I look at that, and I'm. I, that's more of a misplay on your team. You should feel very proud of that, Nano. Um, I think he messed up his pen. Yeah, I think he messed up his pen. Yeah. They oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, I, something, I was going to say, something stinks, you know, like there's no way that that <laughs> Nano gets nothing. So that's where you're like, oh, no, I made the right decision. It was just unfortunate. Just unfortunate, right? And you still can clutch this out here. You and your, your Lucy will stall for a little bit here. You got some good healing on him. Nice pocket. Wow. Nade is disastrous, but, you know, we won't talk about it. Uh, uh, that sleep dart. Come on. Break that bubble. Use that sleep dart. Right now. Use it. Comment. <laughs> Damn, I'm so bad with my CDs. That's okay. That's okay. Like, we, we, that, that, again, that should just be that should just be soothing to your ears because you know exactly mm -hmm. what the solution is. Absolutely um, it is. Man, there's so many good things about your play. So many good things about your play. That I th really love the cover usage. I really love the cover usage. Is it perfect? No. Could it be better? Yes. But yes. compared to the average gold or low plot Ana, a lot better. A lot oh, man, better. Thanks. Yeah, a lot better. Um, so let's let's go. Let's add to our list right now. Um, keep an eye on the scoped in habit. Mm -hmm. Targets are close. Lowers your awareness fire rate. Okay. All caps just to emphasize. Um, and then the other one was keep an eye on your positions. Uh, off of better silence and enemies. We already did that one. What am I forgetting? Oh, nano, 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 nano. Yeah, nano, nano. Nano. Is the fight winnable? Is the fight close? Let's put it that way. Close? Yeah. Is the fight is It'll definitely uh, make me think. Is there a fight? Um, is the target able to do anything with it? Because the think about it this way. That's why when you nano a tracer or a soldier, it can sometimes feel really good. Because that target has mobility. So you can nano them and they can chase stuff, right? That's that's always good, right? Yeah. But regardless of who you nano, whether it's a Reinhardt, a Lucio, or Know, whatever ask yourself is that target going to be able to do anything with that nano can they actually push can they are they being pushed right now so when you use your nano to save somebody's life that's why sometimes it feels so good not just because hey you shut down that play but also you know that target's going to get value out of that nano because they're being right. chased right now and then all of a sudden they're like you know surprise it's now me that's being the uh the beast you know so okay um we'll throw those two more details in there any questions so Mm, no, I'm just pretty excited. <laughs> okay, okay, well, good. Let's keep going here. And we'll talk about how I'd apply all of these uh, practice points uh, at the end of the session. Talk about, like, oh, yeah, what's the game plan? Because there's a, there's a lot here, you know, so, like, what, how do we actually mm -hmm. apply all this? I, I'm just so thrilled that, number one, you knew who you were nading here, first off, and you even knew who you were sleeping. Like, I could see it. I knew the sleep was going to land. You saw the Asher, like, there it is. It's going to hit her. And there it is. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. Yeah, there perfect it is. example. Perfect example, that. right? And you're thinking, okay, well, we're not going to kill her, so what's the point? You know what the point is? She's not doing any damage right now. Yeah. And even for a brief moment, it gives us a chance All to right? actually think and act. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Even for a brief moment, and this is a lot of brief moments right now. Mm -hmm. Five whole seconds. Um, you guys have a lever. Do they come back? They must come back. I noticed this is a 4v5 here. In my okay, yeah, they're back. They're back. Yeah. Oh, it's really annoying. Now, what's the problem with your positioning right now? 
<clears throat> well, I'm in the middle. I don't have any cover. Anybody can surprise attack me. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was where's too focused si into yeah. keeping them alive, not dying. And where's the sightlines on the enemy, too? Yeah, there's no enemy sightline at all. Because the, the, the reality of the situation is, is that you are not going to be able to outheal this damage without sleep dart. Mm. If you're not here, yep. sleeping this Malga right now, or this Moira, or anything like, or the soldier on high ground, or the ash on high ground, or whatever, then that will be too much damage to heal. That's the way to think about it. Ah, that's a good point. Right? If you're not here to when you have anti nade, what? About two seconds? Yep. Two seconds. If you're not here to nade this back line and nade or nade this front line or nade these guys up oh here, God, then you then you will not be able to heal enough. It will not happen. Oh my god, good point. You know, so oh. I, it's not even necessary that like I'm encouraging you to stop healing your team and shoot the enemy team. I mean, do that if you can, right? But at least use your CDs on the enemy team. Yeah, there's it's just there's definitely a smarter play, correct? Yeah, because right. my CD can definitely push them back. I need to start thinking about that too. Like, my, so you my don't team. have to nade like that, right? Mm -hmm. Now you got your second DPS play here too, but yeah, obviously, like you, you've kind of gotten yourself stuck in the healing habit now, and so now you're scared to even rotate to a position where, hey, you know, heal your, throw a shot at that soldier if you get a chance, you know. Now, let's talk about this nano. Is a fight winnable? Obviously. Yeah. But who's in the best position to get value out of this nano right now? Ah, uh, now that I look at it, the Hanzo. Even more so than that. Check this out. Oh my God. You yeah. didn't. I bet you didn't even know he was there. I did not. But even if you didn't know that he was there, look at how far away this Diva is from the enemy team. Yeah, again, the same thing that I did earlier with the Ryan. It's, it's oh, the same God. thing, right? It's just even for a Diva with boosters or a Ryan with pin or a Winston with jump, this is too far. You, you on like this is where it's, sadly you might just have to wait on the nano a little bit. Like let mm -hmm. your team walk forward at least a little bit, then nano. Like right now, perfect yeah. right now there. Right, oh, right. That's it, exactly. Because you've got to ask yourself could we have gotten from here to here without nano? I think so, yeah. right? Surely. Like, if you guys get a headshot and somebody dies in that rotation, you can be, ah, unlucky, go next. You know, sometimes you got to take some gambles. Like, if you got to if you got to use a nano to break a spawn camp, ah, that's all right, that's all right. But you sometimes got to ask yourself, like, can we get out of this position without using an ultimate so that we can actually get value of the ultimate? Same thing with the nade there. Oh, dear. Careful. Careful, careful. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Get your sleep dart, make a play. See if anybody pushes here. Oh no. Nice. But yeah, you do have that habit of using that nade defensively a lot of the time. Um, I might even put that in your notes here. More priority on offensive nades to take pressure off of your team when you can. Prevents you from... Huh, well... Having to nade your team. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, nice sleep dart, by the way. Thanks. Now you look at this and you're like, yeah, I was too close. Right? Mm -hmm. Good Nana. Because I know she'll get value out of this Nana. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely winnable. Good Nana to me, right? Mm -hmm. Gets a kill, kills it out. Um, now, obviously, yeah, you were too close to the Malga. Way too close to them. You should not have been on point. But the reason why I'm not going to even necessarily put that on your notes is because that's not been a problem with you. Well, that, but oh, also yeah, it's not yeah. it's not really been a problem with you historically, at least from the last couple of odds. Right. You know, is it something to keep an eye on in the future? Yeah, I can keep an eye on it. But it's not a priority. Okay. We don't have to sit here and pick out every single detail that we don't right. like, you know. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. There's there's plenty to work at. Besides getting a little too close, because your 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 range management has been actually pretty decent. You know, you 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 find a way to keep a good corner, eighty five percent of the time. That's pretty good. Okay. All right. Definitely could rotate a little more. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was thinking. Where's that offensive opportunity? Get that nade here. Come on, get her. There you go. But don't wait for her to come looking for you. If, if you know she's there, hit her. Okay. And put her on the back foot. 
All right. Scope, have it. You see that? Mm -hmm. Trust yourself. Closer, Trust yeah. yourself. Trust yourself. You'll get it. You might not get it today, this week, or even this month, but you will get it. Um, as long as and it, that's it. And it's not even one of those things that's going to be like, oh, I'm all of a sudden good at scoping. It's going to be your 8% better at scoping or 10% better at scoping. It's going to be over time, you know? Mm -hmm. Use that nade offensively right there. That's a free nade right there. That's true. Na nade I is also. Dying, yeah, I know. It's like you're the one with the CDs, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, nade is also psychological too. What do you oh, think of this nano? Yeah, I never thought about it. Uh, I thought it was good because uh, you know she's got she's. Is this range. fight winnable? I think you're only down one here, and your soldier's almost back. Yeah, it's good to me. Good to me. Like you said, within range, fight is mm -hmm. it's a four v five. Which, if it was a three v five or two v five, no, four v five. That's winnable. It's winnable. Okay, I like it. Let's see what we do. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's all we needed. That's, smart. Yeah. that's all we needed. That's all we needed. There it is. In fact, the only reason that this fight feels messy is because you've done managed to do the nade thing again, right? Yeah. You, you missed that first nade about 10 yeah, seconds yeah. ago and did really nothing with it. Oh, no. Please tell me they don't win this. Nice. Let's go. Rambo on a... Same thing with that nade, too. Yeah, that was good. Good, na good nano. Good initial positioning as well. Like, this positioning here, like, felt like you had really good sight lines. Um, good cover. Good, again, range management is something I'm using a lot where it's like, it's just about avoiding getting too close. Um... Obviously, characters like Widowmaker and Hanzo are kind of annoying at range, but for the most part, you utilize your sniper, uh, and, you're, and you're doing a great job. You're doing a really, really good job. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's finish this off. Thinking about it, nice man. It, it's funny. Sometimes you just toggle. I see your brain. You just click. You just like I knew you were sleeping. You, this nade is going to hit as well, and I just don't know where that comes from. I don't know where you know more. You know what? If I'm saying, here's what I don't know where that goes. That's you know, because <laughs> that's a good nade. That's a good. That's a good sleep. Good nade. Love, love to see it. Do it again. But you're gonna rush this one. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be rushed. But you know that 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 that's very enlightening for you. You know to know exactly yeah. what you need. To, when you're relaxed, you do just fine. Force yourself to relax in these moments. I, I yeah, wouldn't even mind cool. if you slow it down too much and you end up missing opportunities because you're too slow. That's okay. Yeah. Because you can exactly always like get it's always get faster. Yeah. I had to do that whenever I get like a one v one against a tracer or somebody. Yes. Slow down and, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. What's Bruce Lee say? Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. You start smooth slow. Yes, sir. You build up. You build yeah, up your. Somebody else who knows that. Let's go. Oh yeah, I use it all the time. It's a good quote because if you think about it, mm -hmm. how if you go fast straight from the get go, you lose mm -hmm. confidence in yourself, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you build bad habits. But if you start slow, you develop the technique, you develop the mindset over and over of how you're supposed to approach things, and you get more comfortable with it. Not only are you building confidence, but you get better at doing it so that you can do it faster. You don't have to be slow anymore. But if you try to skip steps, you know, you try to do the... Right, exactly. If you try to dismount a horse, like because uh, one stuntman you saw do it, doing it at full speed, you're going to break your back and you're going to scare yourself and never going to want to do it again. Um, you start slow. You build confidence. By the way, great nano. Yeah. Nade, not so much. Use that sleep dart. Just have a purpose with the sleep dart, right? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be it here, isn't it? Oh no, you got you got one more fight. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, I want to see. Sorry, you pop I think off. we lose it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Right, sorry. Right. I don't care if you lose it. I just want to see you hit a nice nade here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, if only there was a way to make these guys stop spamming a little bit, you know? Right, only, right. only there was an ability. Thank you for putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I like your rotations here. Pretty good. You get this nade here. You can even look for something like this here. I think I forced myself there, yeah. Yeah, so instead of kind of running it down through here, where a lot of people are going to spam, try and at least, there's only maybe one person spamming here, but probably better than three people spamming, um, and I'll look for an angle through there. That also helps prevent your nade from getting body blocked too, because you know if you're if you're standing right behind your tank, it, it it's gonna mm -hmm. get body blocked. Oh yeah. Use it. Use it. Oh, oh no. Bubble. Uh, but yeah, it's I, I think it's the panic of these OT fights that's making you frontline. Um, mm -hmm. but but there's no reason for it. Okay, and I don't okay. even think you guys get a touch here. Perfect. 
Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah you guys don't get attached. Okay, so let's um is there anything else here? I think those are the big five we wanted to work on here. Yeah. Right? Notice they were very repetitive, yeah, on both. Yeah, points. yeah, yeah. Okay, so let, let's talk about how we're gonna actually practice these. Um obviously you you can kind of use your judgment here in terms of hierarchy or priority. I would always prioritize either the biggest problems that are having really negative impacts on your play. Taking or with my CDs. Yeah. Or the easiest fixes. The ones that are going to be like the ones okay, that are a little bit more. Yeah. Just finding better sight lines is going to be, is that going to be the difference between winning every game? No, but it sounds like something that's pretty easy, not necessarily to fix, but pretty easy to improve. Not some big soul searching thing here. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. Prioritize those. And then crucially really just work on one thing at a time. Yeah. And I would say one that that was best for me to learn. Yeah. That's how I got here, to be honest. Yeah. Right. Well, there you go. So for me, it's always I I like practicing honestly one thing per day, usually is the the way I do things. That might be okay for you. That might be a little slow. You might enjoy practicing one thing per game. Literally, just mix it up. All right, this is my C D game. This is my position game, or this is my nano focus game. It's fine. Totally fine. Just bring that intensity to the table every game where you're like, even if it's just the even if it's just like the first couple of fights in each game. Before you kind of autopilot or forget what's going on, you know, get in right. there, give it your full intensity, give it your full focus, and, and go full out, and um, you know, and and then next game mix it up, you know, and and slowly over time you'll start to see more of those skills start to be autopiloted. Now, what you're going to notice is when you're working on your slowing down your CDs, your positioning is going to go down the dumpster. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. We can live with that. We we're trying to add more skills to the autopilot right and that might mean letting a couple other skills slip right okay but that's okay long term that's going to be the most effective way to improve and then finally so one thing at a time uh one thing at a time per game per day up to you full in- intensity when you focus on something Try to remember to work on it between every fight or as many fights per game as you can. And then have a couple games per day where you practice nothing. Just play. So the idea is that you practice, you drill, you drill, you drill, you drill, you drill. You play one or two games where you just play. Just play. Have fun. Win the game. Perform. Pretend you got a coach watching you that you're trying out for like some like <laughs> diamond level team, right? You're trying to show off. That's yeah. that's that you just play to win, play to perform. Um, I think it's, it gives you the opportunity to kind of put it all, try and put it all together, you know. And yep, you and you absolutely. and you may or may not, you may or may not, but I don't think you need to treat every game like a drill, right? Just most of your games. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate all right. it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank no you. No problem. Okay. Any questions? Hmm. No, sir. I think I've, I've, I've got just enough for me to chew on for a 